things you keep You better throw them away You want to turn your back On your soulless days Once you were tethered And now you are free Once you were tethered the river This is the sea So that's what I'm trying to bring into the picture, give them fundamental understanding of what's actually going into the board. So they got confidence in their materials. That's exactly. Until everybody who understands. Like when you, you have a guy come into you and you say, okay, what fa what fabric do you want? What do you want with your board? Do you want more flex? Do you want it more stiff? Those kind of things. And you can work and you get like a whole layer of yeah, yeah, well, selection yeah, of fabrics. Exactly, yeah. You could say, okay, well, this fabric does that. And you have a drop. I mean, those are the things that you can set up. I'm Brendan Bassett, so I'm working at CSR, doing my PhD. We're working at understanding these materials and what they're doing in the board to give more knowledge back to the people that are making it. We're understanding the textiles and how it gets processed into the boards and actually trying to set up the way that we would change into natural fabrics. And from that we give better confidence in the materials and making boards like this. And we're very excited for the future. <laughs> you want to explain a little bit about the samples there that you've been testing? So these are samples of fabrics, um, which we've got glass, carbon and flax. We test them so that we can understand how, how they compare. From that we'll be able to set values as to what we can achieve to get these kind of properties and the, the price range that we can basically replace it. From that we'd be able to grow more flax, hemp, process it within South Africa and therefore reducing the price. From that we would be able to phase out carbon and glass which isn't biodegradable. Every single small craft that you put in the water is not biodegradable and that's a problem which we need to sort out. So my understanding is that we just need to give confidence to the materials and from that we'd be able to set up a, a, bigger, a better understanding of the materials and put them, make more boards like this. So. Yeah, and it's fun. We get to serve our projects. Yes. <laughs> My name is Koshin Moringa. Uh, I grass some surfboards. And uh, now it's my first time to get uh, in the hemp uh, grassing surfboard. Where are you from? I'm from Zimbabwe. Okay. How long have you been working with surfboards? About uh, nearly about 12 years now in the surfboard industry. And it was taking a long for me to, to learn, but now it's, I'm on it now. Okay. I'm very good in those in glassing. You are very good. Yes. Okay, and tell me about working first of all with super sap. What's the difference to working with the normal epoxies? Uh, super sap is very, very gently to work with, and it's not harmful, and also it's very, very good. No, no fumes uh, than normal other epoxies, and also in polyester reasons, it's very dangerous to your lungs. But super sap, you can even work it without even a mask. You don't even smell it. Nice. Yes. And the difference between working with the hemp cloth compared to working with the fiberglass? Yes, uh, the hemp is very, very good. It's very easy. You just need to gently to glass it. You have to take your time. And also, once you finish glassing it, you have to check it properly and uh, it will come very flush on the board. Uh, on the fiberglass, it's very tricky. Sometimes you can, uh, it's hard to work with it and you have to work it more harder than even the hemp cloth. Okay. And when you're sanding it, do you feel a difference with the, what's coming off the board compared to the fiberglass? Yes. To sand it, the hemp cloth just very, very smooth, nicely with a, with a smooth sandpaper, not too hard. Then that's it. You finish, you put your gel on. Okay. And what happens when you breathe in the fiberglass? Oh, fiberglass is it's very dangerous to breathe. You can feel like I don't want to see fiberglass anymore. I just need to use every cloth. It's very good for my life. <laughs> and on your skin? And my skin, no itchy, nothing. Yeah. Just I can wear even I can even uh, glass it with uh, with uh, without any 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 long sleeve. 
I don't even feel any itchy on my body, so it's very, it's very nice to have something different in my life. I wasn't thinking I'm gonna get through on this, and I was first time I was thinking, oh maybe I can make it. But at the end, I see, wow, I made it, and it's very nice to work with this, uh, this process. I love it.